we often hear the popular phrase or quote, be careful what you ask for. The deeper meaning behind that is whatever you put into this atmosphere, whether it be words or thoughts, um, those words and thoughts will ultimately manifest themselves. Let's kick it, y'all. What up, y'all? It's your boy KYL coming to you with another video. Hey, I wanted to kick it to you guys about manifesting your destiny and how um, important it is to really be careful and conscious of the words that come out of your mouth and the thoughts that play around in your brain. This is very important. Um, one of the things that I, I'm very conscious of, I always watch what comes out my mouth. And before that even happens, I even watch my thoughts. I mean, that's a little more tricky uh, because uh, your mind, quote unquote, has a mind of its own. So um, you get thoughts you don't ask for. Uh, but the key is, is how do you, quote unquote, wrap those thoughts up? Like, how do you position those thoughts? You understand what I'm saying? For example, if you think to yourself, death, your subconscious will take the word death and literally do what it wants to do with it. Whether it is uh, create a situation into where your death comes or make sure you see that it, 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 your subconscious will take the word and just assume uh you know what I'm saying? It, it will assume what you want to do with it based on um, where you are in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Where it, Based on where you're vibrating at. You understand what I'm saying? So um, if you're in love and you just think positive things um, all the time, etc., for example, then um, your subconscious um, will take death and, and you know, would do something that involves love you understand what i'm saying but for example if you're vibrating extremely low um then you know what i'm saying having negative thoughts uh negative intentions uh just um just vibrating very low then again your subconscious will take that vibration that energy and do what it will with the word death you understand what i'm saying so it's so important so Say that to say, I just wanted to give two quick examples that I thought were just pretty dope, man. And I'm seeing this kind of thing all the time, uh, manifesting. So two of my dominant thoughts, probably um, over the last two months, I've been thinking about this guy I went to high school with uh, named Cecil. And I've been thinking about, um, we had uh, my, our girls basketball team in high school. I went to King, uh, Detroit King. Um, our girls basketball team has been uh, national powers since the 70s coached by Winfield so um we had these twins that uh played on the team uh who were like 6'3 uh 230 you know monsters you know what I'm saying uh so the Cecil and the twins have been dominant thoughts in my mind Cecil because Cecil is a very popular um chiropractor um uh, you know he's um he's well known in Detroit. Does his thing. You know he I know he, I know he uh, had a contract with the Lions. Worked with the Lions for a while. I believe he's working with the Detroit Pistons. But Cecil's very thorough. Does his thing. But the point is, so I was having issues. I had a um I pinched I had a pinched nerve maybe eight nine years ago. So I still kind of have reoccurring issues. And shit, I was supposed to go see Cecil about five years ago to get him to take care of that. So he's kind of been he's been top of mind. Um, I've been thinking about him a lot lately. Right. And the twins, um, when I transferred to King, um, I was a, I was into basketball, but I didn't know women. I, I never seen women play. You know what I'm saying? When I seen women play, you know, I was transferring from Denby High School. Um, and then, you know, uh, women's basketball isn't highly publicized. So I didn't, you know, I never really seen girls play. Never even 
um, associated girls with basketball. But man, when I get over to King, I'm talking about the twins were 6'3", but they were nowhere near the tallest on the team. You know, we had a girl 6'5", we had uh, two girls, you know, we had a girl 6'4", uh, two other girls 6'3", uh, 6'3 six, three, six, three and a half. Then the twins were like 6'2 and a half, 6'3", you know what I'm saying? So anyway, long story short, I haven't seen or talk, talked to Cecil um, in about five years. Um, last time I seen him was at a... Um, a guy I played basketball with uh, got married. Cecil played football. So the football and basketball team, we were all pretty close. Like, you know, um, we were all close a knit group. So anyway, a guy I played basketball with had, you know, uh, got married. So uh, the last time I seen Cecil, five years ago. Um, the twins, I haven't seen the twins. Man, it's been over 15 years. Okay, so now let me let me get to the point. I was at CVS last week uh, running my mouth like I do with the uh, cashier. And somebody, all of a sudden, I feel somebody punching me from the back, you know, um, you know, affectionate punches, you know, punching me in the ribs. Turn around, it's motherfucking Cecil. You know what I'm saying? So, ain't seen this dude in five years. You know, I'm randomly at the CVS in the hood, and he and here comes Cecil walking in, right? So, we kick it for a minute, chop it up, right? So, fast forward to a couple of nights ago, uh, finishing up my night, um... Uh, about to head in, stopped at the gas station, of course, running my mouth like I do. <laughs> Me and uh, the guy uh, running our mouth talking about, you know, just religion and, you know, spiritual shit and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, as I'm at the um, the cash, as, 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 as I'm at the cash register, um, this young lady walks in, my height is shit, and she don't notice me, though. You know what I'm saying? She walks in and kind of walks in front of me, and, um, and I kind of walk up on her. I'm like, damn, hey, I'm like, damn man shit you know anybody who can get me 20 and 20 you know what i'm saying like because because so the young lady actually was stephanie and she's uh she was one of the twins and she was hey, hey y'all she was a walking 20 20 walking 20 points 20 rebounds you feel me so when i seen her i was like damn you know anybody who can get me 20 20 she turned around like khalil <laughs> you know what i'm saying so just saying that to say i haven't seen twin over 15 years haven't seen Cecil in about five years and um I'm not in social circles anymore so I'm not at bars I'm not at parties I'm not at events I'm kind of just you know you know when I'm out here doing me I'm just you know I, I move I move real quick you know I'm in and out so the chances of me running into you know these guys the way I did is um I mean I would say slim to none um so it's apparent my mind you know, made them appear. You understand what I'm saying? So just saying that to say, and um, and that's just two quick examples. I'm noticing these things every day. Um, S Steph and Cecil, they were uh, dominant thoughts in my mind. Uh, and literally, they fucking appeared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They fucking appeared. How about that? You know what I'm saying? And, and if you know, and if you went to King with me, and you know uh, Twin, and you know Cecil, they stay out the way too. About their business, stay out the way. You feel me? So the chances of running to the running into them is slim to none. So just saying that to say, um, you gotta watch your words, y'all. You gotta watch your thoughts. Um, because whatever you say, whatever you think, will be manifested. You feel me? It's your boy YL.